our base case is that the reflection trade is alive and well. We will have bumps on the way, but ultimately uh, an environment of global growth uh, is positive for emerging markets. We just need, need to come to terms that markets don't go up in a straight line, and it's time to reshuffle some of the lazy positioning. And I think tech is where a lot of people have been hiding. And rather play more tactically, um, you know, where the earnings momentum will come from, which in emerging markets has a lot to do with energy, for sure, Russia, Saudi Arabia, um, uh, banks. So particularly the Saudi banks are very exposed to um, and positively affected by rising yield environment because of the improvements in margins and profitability. Um, and those are some of the domestic theme, themes. Um, so emerging markets have developed over the last five years. So um, they, they, there is a lot of component of uh, um, uh, electronic vehicles, for example, a team that people are still looking to buy on any dips, as well as generally consumption as a team to pay to play reflection. Mikhail, I saw some interesting data out of the IIF uh, at the end of last week, looking at foreign investment into EM, and the data show that foreign investment turned negative in EM equities and debt, which resulted in total daily outflows for the first time since October, and that was last week. Is it a surprise that flows turned negative in EM this quickly into the rebound after such a tumultuous 2020? I think uh, the outflows were a function of uh, how people started 2021, meaning that uh, after November with the vaccine news, we have already seen uh, um, uh, you know, emerging markets turn in the corner. And I think emerging market was the consensus trade as we started the year. So this is just a bit of reshuffling um, in positioning, but I would say that uh, overall, um, the flows have been contained. Um, and uh, and uh, again, I think we have to come to terms that we're going to have uh, a few weeks or probably months of volatility, uh, but we need to keep uh, in mind the big picture, which is we're getting out of this COVID crisis. Um, and if and we as a, a city group, we have a structural um, a bearish bias on the dollar, which we remain, we remain an underpin uh, for the asset class.